Hello and welcome to Indus News. My name is Hamza Amjad coming to you from our studios in Lahore. These are the top stories of this hour. At least 27 Taliban fighters have been killed in airstrikes and operations by Afghan security forces in different parts of Afghanistan. Meanwhile, in their message on Soviet invasion's anniversary, Taliban have told the US to leave Afghanistan or face the same fate as the Soviet Union. Moving on, Pakistan has termed regional consensus the key to developing an Afghan-led, Afghan-owned solution to the war. Foreign Office said Pakistan's Foreign Minister's four-nation tour has helped to promote a joint regional approach to Afghanistan. Shah Mahmood Qureshi will soon visit Qatar to further pursue the peace process for Afghanistan. Meanwhile, President Donald Trump has said the US will no longer provide military protection to countries which do not pay for it. Talking to US troops in Iraq, Trump said he overruled generals in deciding to withdraw forces from Syria. He defended his decision to end the US role as global policeman, saying it carried an unfair burden. And Saudi Arabia's King Salman has reshuffled his cabinet, ordering formation of a new political and security council. Ibrahim al Assaf has replaced Adil al Jubair as the kingdom's new foreign minister. That was all for the moment. Thank you for watching Indus News. Stay with us.